Take it short for Canada. His cross turned in for a goal. That was Sebastian Legit, the little near post flick header there. And it's five to two. Alright, we have made it to LAX. I'm about to get into the international terminal and get on my way. Got my boarding pass. Let's go through security. Let's get to the gate. Let's get comfortable. Let's get away from people. You know what I'm saying? Got through security. We are on the way to the gate. I think I got some time to kill. I'm gonna call Becky right now. Um, I know she's uh, she's been going through a lot of stuff and. You know, she's been going through some tough time and I've done my best, uh, you know, with all the stuff that I've, I've got going on. You know, she's got so much going on and yeah, it's been, to be honest, you know, nobody would know because she keeps it under wraps and she just keeps it moving, man. She's a, she's a machine in that sense, but it's, it's, it weighs a lot on her. I'm thinking about her as I... As I hop on the plane, I mean, obviously it's been quarantined since March, so you can imagine we haven't been away from each other for many days. Oh, she's calling. She's calling. Hello. What's up, baby? How are you? Are you sad? Funny. No, I'm not sad. I just miss you. Yeah, you miss me? I miss you too. I'm just here, just kicking it. Uh, I think we're about. To, I think we're about to board. Like, I, I think. I think. Yeah, I think we're about to board. Um, but tranquilo. No, everything's good. Everything's chilling. How, How is the airport? Uh, yeah, it's a little weird. It's a little weird to be honest. Yeah. yeah because I thought there's gonna be less people. No, it was like getting in. There's nobody. But when you get in, it's like it's a little nerve-wracking, you know. And then you can just text me. Okay, dale. Alright, bye. Ciao. Alright, we have sat down. <laughs> we are comfy. I'm about to get a little more comfortable. Uh, this flight's gonna suck. 10 hours and 20 minutes to be exact. We're gonna get comfy, check out for a little bit. Okay. Alright, check this out. I don't know if it's just me or I haven't been on a plane in so long, but this is like the newest feature I've come across uh, so far. So there's daylight outside, but I'm gonna press the button and control the tint on the window, and it's blowing my mind. I also didn't know it was there the entire time the flight, so. Uh, but it's this button right here, and it's light outside, obviously. See how, it turns, see how it goes down? What? This is crazy. That's hard. I've never seen that. We have made it. We are in London. We have touched down. Uh, just got out of the bus that took us to the terminal. Uh, and yeah, I mean, it's nice to be back. Obviously, it's. I'm not going to be here for long. I mean, uh, I'm gonna hop in a car and meet up with the teams. So hopefully uh, nobody stops me in immigration, right? Yeah, that was like the easiest uh, immigration line I've ever experienced, especially in London. It's usually actually kind of hectic. I've been in some long, long lines, so that wasn't too bad. Now we're just gonna get my bag. Should be easy to spot. Finally got to the room. I am exhausted. It was such a long, long journey. Um, but hey, I'm gonna be comfortable here. It looks like an amazing place. I'm gonna check it out more tomorrow when there's sunlight. It's too dark outside to, to see anything. Finally, I can take this damn thing off, man. Whew, it's been like, I feel like it's been like a 24 hour day. <sighs> wow. I feel like that's like what girls feel like when they take their bra off or something. I don't know. Maybe that's a weird comparison, but... What I love, what I love about England is that wherever you go uh, at hotels, 
you always, um, they always give you a kettle to warm up your water, always. So it's like, because tea is everything here. It's, it's like ev everywhere you go, everywhere you stop, it's like part of the culture. You have a black tea or English breakfast and yeah, so I don't have to ask anybody for hot water. So I'm gonna have a lot of mate. Got our new threads hard I like it it's hard it's been a long time since we've got new ones so uh, pretty exciting they got I think they got here let me show you the back they got let's see if I can do it dude oh they got states on the back yeah. maybe if uh, like that no it's not working out When you play in England or any country like this, you have to wear studs or else you're going to be slipping. It's going to be an ice skating rink out there. So these are my weapons of choice. I'm going to fit in a little activation session and these are what I call my lifesavers because ever since I started activating before training, it's literally changed my life and my career, I feel. Literally, as simple as it sounds, warm up my body before I warm up or at least get my body ready, it's made miles of a difference. So, this is what I do. Ow! <laughs> it is, I think, four hours till game time. Uh, it's gonna be an exciting one. Uh, obviously been 10 months or so, maybe a little bit more since uh, everybody has seen the uh, the national team play and it'll be a different a different look this time, you know, with a lot of youngins and a lot of young talent. Uh, I'm excited to be a part of it. I think today's gonna be a little bit more interesting because I'm playing a position that I've never played before, uh, which is number nine. Usually I play number 10 or number eight. So it'll, this will be very interesting. It'll be fun, I'm excited. Uh, I trust this team, I trust this coaching staff, and you know, let's just make the most of it, and it's always an honor to wear this badge, so let's do it, all right? I'll catch y'all later. Game one is in the books. Yeah, man, it was a good experience playing number nine. It was very, very interesting. Um, definitely a tough position to play. I definitely understand it a little bit more. Um, but I thought it suited the way we played. Um, for me, anyways, I think it made it a lot easier. I mean, everybody's on the same page. I, I thought our game plan was good, man. I mean, we, I thought we were unlucky to to not get any goals uh, in the game. So, hey, but we moved forward. The young guys did their thing. I was, uh, it, yeah, it was good to see. Now we move on to Austria to play Panama. Uh, I'm excited for that one. We'll see uh, how that one pans out, but let's get it. Hello. I just thought of a brilliant, brilliant plan. 
so I'm in my hotel room, and obviously I play FIFA, I brought my PS4. You know when you have the PS4 right here, you got the telly, obviously, and then the beds, just like right there in an uncomfortable position, it's like too close. Put the chair on the bed. So this is my view, like direct eye level, perfect. Game day, baby. Get it. We got a trimmy beard. I'm looking, I'm looking scruffy, bro. I'm looking scruffy. So let's get it. Voila. Let's go, USA. Take it short for Canada. His cross turned in for a goal. That was Sebastian Legit, the little near post flick header there. And it's five to two. All right, guys, we have finished up the camp in style, uh, beating Panama 6-2, getting on the score sheet, scoring for your country, the best feeling in the world. Um, you know, it doesn't matter if it's a friendly or whatever game, it's, it's yeah, it's the best. So we definitely did it right. Uh, you know, that's why you keep grinding. You never know, and you got to just keep going, man, for, you know, for, for moments like that and make it all worth it. But, um, yeah. Definitely a good way to end the year. It's crazy that I now I'm on vacation and there's nothing really to go back to now. You know, go back and see the family, spend some time with them, see my girl, you know. Uh, definitely dive into her world a little bit, a little bit more than because obviously our schedules, uh, you know, crisscross and we never really get to do much. Maybe this year a little bit more because of quarantine and stuff like that, but yeah. No, but definitely exciting. You know, obviously a very tough, tough year uh, individually and, and, and with everything. So just a good way to wrap it up. But tomorrow's a long, long travel day. So I'll take you guys through that. But until then, I'm going to play some PS4 and some FIFA. You know what I mean? <laughs> we have made it to LA after a 12-hour flight. I just got into my apartment or me and Becky's apartment and you know I roll on the floor I'm thankful that I got here all good I get up I'm like oh do we have any snacks I'm starving um, and this is what I find I'm like oh avocado from a distance and then I get closer look at this shit there that is like mold on another there's like foam and cotton coming out that like becky that is unacceptable i know i haven't been here i've been working hard out of the country representing my country and this is this is what you've been doing with the place unbelievable unbelievable <laughs> The hair though. It's the hair night. Yeah, the hair's kind of nice. I got the halo going.